Morning, mate. How much are you after on the controller? Pardon? Three pounds. Three pounds, yeah. yeah. We have a Luke. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll leave that one. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Cheers. Oh, yeah. you're not. Yeah. How much are you after for the whole thing? Seventy. Seventy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no worries. How's your dream? Sorry? How much is the dream? Yeah, which one? Uh, what one? That one? That one is 80. 18. 18? Yeah, 80. 80. 80. All right, cheers, mate. <laughs> nah? How much are you after on the PlayStation 1 games, mate? PlayStation 1, which one? On the top or bottom? Uh, oh, you've got some on the top as well? Yeah, the top one that I price up. Yeah, oh, so I haven't. So the bottom of the four pound each free for tenner. Four. And these ones? This one, that price up. Oh, they're individual, yeah? You have the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's out here charging five pounds for who wants to be a millionaire?
well indeed. <laughs> Which you'd advise that would be a double yeah. O, well. Yeah, I mean, even for that, it's, 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 not, that on eBay at the it's not too bad. Never seen it in a while before. I mean, I it's only a, a rental one, but still. Some of my better bits out today. Why not? How much are you after on the PlayStation? 25, mate, and I'll take you some uh, sport games in. 25. Ooh, nice. I just said. Uh, <laughs> rental one as well. Yeah. Mm. That one right there, mate. Uh, Where'd you pick that up? Did you just buy it yourself? Last or? Sunday, yeah, last Sunday, but yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't have a bond, I won't fit in the bed. Yeah. Nothing is now. Though. These are all empty boxes, they're mega drives. Some have got manuals in. Oh, are they? How much are you off? That's got this one in it. The price is running there, look. Yeah. That's got this one on it. Switch there again. Exit what's wrong with Christmas. Oh, no, I came back for it, didn't I? But you told it. A few weeks back, wasn't it? Are these old empty cases as well, mate? No. How much are you after on these ones? I take it this one's not working for 10. Uh, no, I haven't even tested that one, buddy. No worries. Second hand stuff, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I take it you collect games yourself, mate? Or? I'm, a, I'm a NES collector, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the uh, PlayStation 1 at the moment. But... Well, I've got a box from down there. Oh, have you? Can I come around and have a look? I didn't see that. Yeah. I've, these are the better ones. Yeah. And these are the. Cool. How much after Antonio? Mm. Mm. Yeah. No worries. Right, Cheers, mate. See you later. Morning, mate. How much are you after on the games? <laughs> What did you say, these were two? Two, 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 the rest are account. Mm. 
Yeah. Mm. Very weighty, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you had a rip fold in the back and done that. Mm. Mm. Got a load of figures at home. Mm. 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 <laughs> How much are after on all the games? Uh, Panda game. Panda game, yeah.
you take three quid for them for? Uh, 350. Yeah, we've got 350. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold well on, I'll just, yeah, go on. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. That's only three. Oh, so, oh, sorry, because I, I said 350 and you went, oh, no. And then I was like, oh. I'm, you, you said three pounds. Yeah, three pounds, yeah. Sorry, and, and oh, he's... Yeah, yeah, that's right. So yeah, oh, yeah, go on. Yeah, pounds again, yeah. I said originally. Yeah, is that all right, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Don't want you chasing after me. <laughs> How much are you after on the... Uh... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Not original, though, are they? No. The reshells, unfortunately. Yeah. How much are you after on the game, sorry? The games are five for each. Five for each, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know how much you, you when don't he know comes how much back, you want for it. Come yeah. back, because okay. yeah, they're not mine. They're, they're not mine, they're these. Well, I don't know how much you want for it. Don't sell. Whatever you do. Welcome back, YouTube. For those of you returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. Um, aim of the game of this channel is to buy games at a low price and trade them in at CEX for a high price. Um, so, yeah. Just a quick uh, recap today, a um, bit of a frustrating boot sale, <laughs> to be honest. We had um, some really, really interesting stuff for sale, but the prices that people were asking today were, um, in my opinion, very, very high. Um, I think there was a guy asking £80 for a beat-up Dreamcast. You had uh, someone asking £10 for PlayStation 3 games. <laughs> there was even a guy <laughs> trying to charge £5 for, uh, for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on uh, PlayStation 1. So, yeah. Um, interesting uh, stuff for sale, but but not a lot in you know in my price range and, and what I'm looking to do. Um, did manage to make a couple of pickups that I, I'll go through. Um, so yeah, that, to be honest, I think it was just from one store I bought these four games. Um, we've got Need for Speed Most Wanted, complete. Juiced Hot Import Nights Two on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Crazy Taxi, although it is the platinum version, but by saying that, it looks like it's the, could that be? I don't know, you tell me in the comments. It looks like it could be the real disc, but in the, the platinum case. I'm not too sure how it works on PlayStation 2 with the platinum games. I know on, uh, on PlayStation 1, obviously when it was a platinum game, uh, the disc would be platinum. So maybe we'll, we'll look into that one. And then, yeah, Tony Hawk's uh, American Wasteland. Again, complete. Um, yeah, I think I paid £3 for all of those. And, yeah, the trading value is just shy of £10, I think. So, yeah, um, all in all, not, not a great day um, for pickups uh, with regards to games. Um, I did see another stall um, towards the end. Now, I didn't show the footage in this video because... Um, it was a young girl who was selling the um, selling the games, and although um, she was hardly on camera, I still didn't think it was right to uh, to post it. But <laughs> when I first saw the games for sale, I thought, "Oh my god, I've, I've hit a gold mine here." Um, I'll show you why I thought that. We had FIFA 18 on Xbox um, 
Xbox 360, for those who know. Uh, then we've got Scarface on PlayStation 2 and Left 4 Dead 2 on Xbox 360. Now she was asking a pound a game, um, and as you can imagine, I was over the moon, but no, no disc in FIFA 18. I asked her if it was anywhere else, and she said, oh, it must be indoors, so gutted about that. But I said I'd give her 50p for the case, because you never know, it might turn up. Uh, then yeah, Scarface, same, no, no case, uh, sorry, no disc, but the case, so again, I gave her 50p for that. And then Left 4 Dead 2, that did have a game in it, but it was Spider-Man 3. <laughs> so I said, I'll give her a pound for that because I know that Spider-Man 3 chops in for, I think, £8 and Left 4 Dead 2 chops in for um, £5. So if I ever find the game or the disc of, uh, oh, sorry, the, the game or the case for either of those, it's worthwhile to, uh, to chop in. So to be honest, if there's ever high value games like these where they've only got the case or, or even the disc, I will, I will pick them up. Um, just in case, further down the line, you never know, you, you may get them, and then that way, you know, you get a chop in for, hopefully, a cheap price. Um, so yeah, that, that was it today, uh, with regards to what I'm gonna be trading in with CEX. Um, there was a guy who had um, Clono, or Clano, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Clano Phantom Hill, which, uh, if anyone who collects PlayStation 1 games, um, that's what, you know, a, a big hit, I think it's normally for about 110 pounds. Now he had the, um, rental copy one which he was selling for uh, 80 pounds whether or not that that's right i don't really know uh, with regards to the rental games whether they're worth more or less i would assume less because me as a collector i, I would prefer the real game um but maybe you can tell me in the comments uh, if it was worth the 80 pound but he did have um odd world uh, age exodus for sale um it has got a disc missing but for three quid i thought you know what i'm gonna take it because there's someone on the Sunday boot sale that I go to who's normally selling games and I'm sure I've seen the discs to this. Um, so I've taken a three quid gamble and I'm hoping that tomorrow when I go to the Sunday boot sale, um, I may be able to pick that up. So I'll keep you posted and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go on that one. So yeah, just a, um, a short recap today. Not, not, not many pickups, but um, as always, uh, I, I thank you for the uh, the views and the subscriber count and the views have been going up quite a lot lately so i do really appreciate that um, and i just want to make a, a special shout out to boot sale bin picking um, he actually done a shout out for me at the end of his last video uh, which i was shocked by um, but really grateful for um, i did notice that after he'd done that uh, my subscriber count did go up quite a bit so uh, again thank you for that really do appreciate it and um, now i don't have as many subscribers as he does um, but if you're into retro gaming, which I'm uh, sure most of you are, uh, I'll leave a link to uh, his channel in the description. Uh, give him a follow. Um, it's, it seems like a very knowledgeable guy. Um, so yeah, please do go, go and give him a follow. Um, as always, um, really appreciate all of the views, all of the subscribers. Uh, it does really mean a lot. Um, so yeah, I will see you all in the next one.